Hello, this is Nathan, and welcome to Anode Heart. This game, I guess, is influenced by Digimon, uh, recommended by our good friend L. Um, so we're going to take a look at it. It's just a demo. Just came out, I guess. So pretty excited. Don't get a lot of Digimon stuff. This is it. It's complete. Doctor, they caught up to us. We have to evacuate everyone. <laughs> so our time is up. Save the two of them. I will stay behind. Whoa, the A heart must survive. I'm guessing anode. <laughs> now your journey begins. Seek. Hmm. Circuit Shore. Definitely Digimon. Uh, if I say anything like that, I just mean it's like influenced. Not supposed to be a direct copy. I love it. Program found. Analyzing core data is missing. Seek. Reinitialize. Ooh, I like the character. Ooh, the art's really nice. I like the cute pixel art. You're awake! Thank the virtuals. I was afraid your program had malfunctioned for good. Oh. Oh, my apolog apologies. I should explain. You're inside my station in Colonel Dump. I'm Shishi the Mechanic. You were collapsed on the brink of Circuit Shore, so I brought you here for repairs. Though I have to say, I've never seen a me Mechanica? Mechanica? Quite like you before. Even as a mechanic myself, I had trouble figuring out how to reboot your program. Thankfully, it's rebooted on its own. Do you have a name? I saw some symbols on your sleeve that could be interpreted as seek. Is your speech module inactive? Hmm, why don't you take this for the time being? If you need, you can use that recorder to write down things you want to say. Or in my case, things you want to remember. So seek your name? Sure. Do you remember how you got here, seek? No record. Hmm, you should rest here for a bit, Seek. Your power hasn't restored to full capacity yet either. Not to mention that strange mist outside. I almost got lost out there myself. You can save your progress here at the terminal. And you can recharge your circuits at the heart terminal over there. Well, if you need help with anything, I'll be here at my workstation. Ooh, free, free range movement, like it, not tile based. <laughs> not sure. Heal my party. Do I get some monsters? Sure. Who are you? Robbie. Mrs. Mrs. She brought you here for repairs. But you don't look or behave like a mechanic, huh? Are you sentient? Forgive me, I'm being rude. Your backing doesn't matter. You are a fellow resident. Do you want some game and control tips? Sure. See that glowing ball that follows you around? That's Floaty, your backpack. Press E or Enter to interface with Floaty. Well, I'm using a controller though. There you can check your items, memory, Tama Party, and game settings. When you're done checking it, press X to exit. Finally, if you're not running already, you can press C to toggle running. That's all the tips I have for now. Okay, so Y is to run. Looks like I can just press B. Rain City to buy some eggs and milk. Oh, <laughs> it's his thing. Okay. I like gameplay first. Ooh, what's this? There are three eggs. Touch them. <gasps> They're prototype eggs. What? How did you do that? I've been trying to hatch them for months. Well, there's no time to marvel now. You'll have to link with the Dama that's about to hatch. Promise to explain all of it later, but please, you must get closer to the eggs now. I've set it up so that only one of the Tama will hatch, but you have to pick which one. Okay, are you ready? They're about to hatch. 
What do we got? So we got Kobu, an earth kobold. Eats plants. It's a lizard type. We got strength and health. So probably like a melee guy. Passive hardening. Gain one armor whenever you, your earth tech does damage. Tolfu, a fire dog. Wolf. Eats meat. So strength, magic, speed, and no wisdom. Or less wisdom. Your fire techs gain one bird. And we have a wind bird. Can eat anything. Really good in speed. A little average and everything else. You know, I'm going to pick the dog. There's a dog. I always see the fire too, so. Kind of interesting. Earth, fire, and wind. So we'll do that. Yep. Tofu it is. Always name him after Neo, so we'll see. An actual tofu. Do you want to give it a nickname? Yeah. Neo. This is incredible. I'll have to analyze the data produced by this event thoroughly. Now that you have linked with this Tama, you'll have to be the one to take care of it. I was going to explore the island with it as my companion, but I'll trust this mission to you now. I like how straightforward this mission is. Like, I wake up, I go over here, get my starter. Since I can't do it, you're doing it. You probably already know this, but until recently, Tama were a phenomenon exclusive to the net. Inside the net, they existed as amalgamations of data and code that has essentially come to life. Now they seem to be popping up in the overworld as well. Since our world consists of many layers, both digital and analog, something like this isn't impossible. But we still don't know how Tama came to exist in the first place. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Or why they've started to take form in the overworld. I hope that I'll be able to understand more now that you've linked with Talfu. Oh, and one final thing before you go out and explore. Here, just in case you find recruits, this gadget will help you keep track of them. Would explore the islands and find other sentients who would want to come and live here. Once long ago, this place used to be full. It was very lively. But now I'm all alone. With all the mechanic work I get each day, I'm barely able to keep this slot and its surroundings clean. So please, if you happen to meet other sentients, try to bring them here to Colonel Dump. You got it. Well, let's go. Really like the art. This is really cool. Definitely reminds me of File City. Beep boop. Hey, over here, Mr. Shishi gave you a Tama. Is that correct? If you want to learn a bit about it, come talk to me. I don't know who was saying that. Are you a new resident? Oh, I've forgotten who you are. Mr. Shishi has given you a mission? You'll try to find more residents? This is just like Digimon World 1 so far. I am in love. Uh, I will help you with that young and my motors have rushed it away so I really move no more but I can browse the net for you and see if I can find any sentience around here. Now give me a moment. I need to boot up my moment. My modem. <laughs> my moment. Okay. Hello Bibu. This is the training area. I can show you some combat basics. Sure. Very well. Initiate lesson one. Use your Tama attack the dummy. Oh. Uh, attack. Claw. Booyah. You can use text for as long as you have time points. Once you go over your remaining time points, it's your opponent's turn. Each Tama has some default TP. It starts with indicated by these white brackets. The faster the Tama, the greater its starting TP. Interesting. No support. Nice. And some bites, learn tiny flame. Well done. The dummy stood no chance. Now your Tama must have gained a level, is that correct? When your Tama gains a level, some of its stats go up, but you also must have received one potential point. Go on, open your party menu and use the potential to increase one of your Tama's stats. Let's see. Potential! Oh, potential needed. I see. Let's do strength. Maybe? I mean, health probably wouldn't hurt. Let's do health. Cool. Ooh, evolution! Okay. Alright. Is that everything? Did you use a potential to increase your Thomas stat? Well, either way, in that last battle, you only had one TP to use. Raise your speed stat, decrease your starting TP in battle. 
What do you say we have a real fight now? Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Sure. Ooh, sapply, huh? Native, huh? Two times damage. Do you like plant? Is that how they say plant in here, native? I'm all for it. Earned 150 bites. You bested me. I think you noticed that some texts do double the normal damage to my Tama. You'll see two times written next to the move. What that really means is that your move's element is strong against my Tama's element. This board next to me has all the elements, weaknesses, and strengths written on it. Feel free to study it. By the way, I have a little task for you before you teach you any more advance. Go outside into your, the wild, battle others, and raise your Tama to level 3. Then come talk to me again. Ooh, so what do we got? We got earth, fire, wind, water, ice, electric, native, and machine. Very akin to Digimon, which I like. So what's fire good against? Looks like machine and plant, bad against ice and water. It tells me here. Oh wait, dark too? Huh. Oh, the dark water, dark ice, dark earth. Huh, what's the dark, I wonder? Kind of neat. All right, well, let's explore some more. Sorry, this place is so empty. We placed recruitment posters around the forest, but we're still alone here. Perhaps the thought of living in a town full of mechanicals and trash is not as appealing to sentience. Interesting way to call people. Can we expect the trash can? No. Hello, little boy. Oh, okay, you seem to be malfunction. What is this thing? Yikes. Huh, what is this? Okay. Howdy, newcomer. This is the Colonel Dunn's finest shop. Interested in some fresh, data-rich produce? Oh, do, do, do my guys get hungry? Okay. What do you say? I'm a run bot. I'm running at high speed nonetheless. Want me to teach you how to run? No. You're missing out. I am running already. Ooh, got a battery. A low voltage energy storage artif artifice? Some species of Tama may like it. I wonder if that's how we recruit them, feed them. Like Digimon. Any secrets? You know, one thing that I like, anybody watching, any future devs, anything like that when i collect a new item i love that it tells me the description of it now i don't know if it's going to tell me the description every time but at least the first time that's really cool that way i don't have to go on my menu open up more options uh pokemon tectonic does that as well pretty cool okay let's go here binary forest this is so cool Acorn, good for her herbivorous Tama. Heal 5 HP plus 1 MP. Slightly reduces hunger. Alright, we got a gate here. Oh! Mice? Mize? Hey! Do you know if I can get to the rainlands through this forest? Ah, my bad. I haven't even introduced myself. My name's Mize. I'm an adventurer. The map I have doesn't show any roadblocks here. Then again, I do have an older version. Whoa! Hey, It's a Toxie! Please get rid of it! He's cute! Alright. What are you? Ooh, two times damage. Mmm, got poisoned. I wonder if that lasts through the battle. I'm level three now. And we have plus two potential. Let's go. Ooh, sorry for freaking out like that. I have a big fear of arachnids. I should thank you for rescuing me. Honestly, I thought I was a goner. What's that? You want me to come to visit a nearby town? Colonel Dunn? Sure thing. I'm just stuck anyway, and I may be able to sell some of the loot for my adventures there. If you find a way to unlock this passage to the Rainlands, though, let me know. Oh, and here, take this card. I bet you'll find a good use for it. Oh. Let's see 
that then. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool so far. Recruitment decks, huh? All right, I'm level three. Oh, you managed to raise your Thomas level. Very well, I'll tell you this then. Every tech has BP or battle points, which represents its raw power. Time points, which its usage cost. And finally, combat points, which represents how many times you can use a tech without receiving return damage. Oh, tech power is amplified by your Thomas own strength, stat, or magic stat. If a tech's damage type is brutal, then your Thomas strength will amplify its power. Similar, similarly, if a text damage type is magical, then your Tama's magic stat will amplify its power. Armed with this knowledge, are you ready for a rematch? Sure. Hopefully I'm not damaged. I am. Whoops. Look at this guy. He passed. Hmm. Wonder why he did that. Well, this is... Let's see. Minus two. Oh. Kind of weird he just let me beat him up. Wow, you best me once again. Looks like I'm the one who must take notes. Here, take this as a small reward. I'll give you your final task now for your next rematch. For our next rematch, I want you to have a full party of three. You can, ha you can have any Tama you want, of course. If you're unsure how to fill your party, talk to my brother, T-Rain. T-Rain? Roan? Tyrone? He lives in the forest next to this town. Okay, well, I need to heal. Ooh, I forgot to do the combat points for the potential. Let's do that. Wisdom ups dodge and learning. Oh. This is speed right here. Um, I heal here? No, save. That's saving. Duh. All right, well, I guess we need to go to the forest, learn how to recruit some more Tama. Oh, those must be Tama. The TV pole. Small floppy. Is it you? I got a peach. Whoops, didn't see what it was. I'm sure it's like fruit. Howdy, I'm Tutorbot's brother, T-Rain. T-Rain? Is that what that is? Oh, train. Train, train. That's funny. There's some boring information on what's written over there on that billboard. You don't want to read that. You want a challenge, don't you? That's the spirit. I bet you don't know anything about catching Tama. So I want you to catch one native Tama for me. Here in this forest. How do you catch a Tama, you ask? Well, you don't. At the end of each battle, Tama fought can choose to join your party. You increase that chance of joining your party by giving it gifts. Uh, also, each Tama has a favorite item. If you gift their favorite item, you increase the chance by a huge amount. For example, Sapley's favorite item is Acorn. Final tip. Don't bother trying to catch a Tama that's higher level than you. It'll almost always reject your gifts. Alrighty, you should be ready to catch some Tama now. And we got Sapley. Here. Gift. Woohoo! And now we just blow him up, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Woohoo! Neo's level 4. Ooh, fireball. Oh, we didn't get him. What? A base nutrient. <laughs> I figured they'd just give it to us. That's okay. Hey, yeah. Gonna do it again. Let's see. Insects. <gasps> I love insects. Okay. Let's see. Hey, yeah. Accepted. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! Cool. That's a native Tama right there in your party. Are you ready to take on my next challenge, part two? Alrighty, here's 
Train's first lesson. You'll fight against an earth town and observe how strong your native attacks are against it. Um, do I need to like switch? I mean, he's, he's hurt. I don't think this is a good idea. At least it doesn't take a turn. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, I'm weak to fire or er, earth. I think I'm only going to win because of brute force. Well, you did it. Maybe this challenge was too easy. Here's your reward. Don't spend it all at once. I have another challenge for you. I'll make it harder. So I want you to catch one earth Tama for me in this forest. I heard there's some hanging around the tunnel. See if you can find them. Okay. Well, let's go heal. And I need to increase my other dude up. I like that there's a day-night system, I think, in the top right corner. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this game. I'll have to see if there's like a Twitter or something. I'll put, I'm gonna put all the information about this game in the description. Please support the developer. I think they have a, disco a Discord. Um, but I'm gonna check out other things. I'll have a link to the demo, of course, but this is amazing. I'm in love with it. Okay. Kinda wish we could do like the training dummy. We're gonna try to level him up once, I guess. Ambush, okay. No damage, interesting. Okay, so they do get experience, but if Neo learned bash. Interesting. But if I, um, oh, am I fighting both of them? That'd be interesting. I see, this costs one less TP. Hmm. There we go. Native kick. Okay. I like we should get no, I can't. Oh, I see. Those are twos. I get you. I get you. Here, let's get your health up. Your little baby. All right, let's go to this tunnel. If they're earth type, then it should be pretty easy. Here, well, let's switch. I like that I can switch and it doesn't take a turn. Makes the battles go by faster. And if you know me... Oh! No, that's okay. If you know me, I like things to speed up. What is this dude lurking in the... Business. Oh, it's a computer. I see, I see. Cool. Wait. What are you? What are you lurking in? Brand seed. Loved by bird-like. Okay. Cool. What are you? Thalafir. You're kind of cool looking. Can I like see your fire type? Interesting. Well, let's switch before we die. Boom! I see the TP thing, but we don't want to hurt ourselves. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Good thing Neo's nice and strong. I'm actually surprised how little that does. Here, can we burn him? No. 
recoil, huh? Okay. Cool. Well, big stats. Man, Sapley's not doing so hot. Salafir dropped magma rock. Cool. Got some fire types like that. Alright, let's see about getting some, uh... Oh, there's even, like, different ranks of quests, I guess? Not really sure. Alright, let's see here. We have three potentials. Now they're all costing two. Here, let's increase... Speed's pretty nice to increase. There, we'll get up your strength since you're... You're not doing a whole lot of damage. That looks like a new dude, huh? Hello. My oh my, another sentient roaming through the forest. Lucky you, you get to walk around and have some fun. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in this receptacle. But hey, can't stand mad at you for long, for I too will soon have enough cred bits to get a mobile body. Call 1555 Lucky Now to win the ziggurat, ziggurat of Grandpa's limited offer. My apologize for interrupting the schedule program. I have no control over ads. Hey, visit me from time to time, will ya? I like grass, but it gets boring around here. <laughs> okay. What are you? Like a little doggy. Oh. Hey, Brat. What are you? You're fire. Fast learner. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going to switch. We're going to switch. Fireball seems to do a decent amount. Cool. Where's this tunnel at? Ooh, what are these? This looks like a tunnel. You know, this is kind of like a Digimon World 1 where if you go west, the tunnel's there. Kind of looks like the same thing too. I like it. I love this. Are you the Earth Tama? Oh, you're just Moloon. Okay. So let's do this. So he's level three, which is nice. Uh, support. Good for Lithoverus? Lithoverus? I'm not even sure what that means. Hmm. You like it? Oh, he loves rock. How nice. Let's see if he likes this. Rejected. My bad. I guess we'll just attack him. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Another rock. I kind of wish my native dude wasn't so like weak. Here, let's go down here. I kind of, I'm kind of curious. Lots more dudes. Oh, is this teleport? Yes. Cool. Oh look, she's here now. Or they? I don't know. Me say. If I could work in this little shop here, said it's okay. By the way, I never got your name. Okay, Seek. If you need anything, let me know. What else you got? You got anything new? Oh, we got lots of things. Zip fly. Hmm. Ooh, a warp ridden. That's pretty nice. At least we don't have to worry about our dudes pooping. Okay. Let me see if we talk to him, like Gigi Mon, where you talk to him. He's like, oh, Shawinsho joined the city. Seek, I heard some people joined our town. That's great news. Okay. 
I mean, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> All right, so we can teleport back, right? Nice. Cool. I like that uh, I already have this activated. I don't need to worry about... Like, getting a Bergeramon and selling my soul for it. Okay. Let's do this. Don't crit me, bro. Don't do that. Here's a rock. And then here's a mushroom. Cool. Hopefully that's good enough. Native kick. I hope my dude, like, grows up to be big and strong. Am I, like, healing? Is that what's going on? Woohoo! Seed stab. Ah, there we go. Yes. Alright, let's go heal before we go fight him, because I'm sure he's going to want to fight. So, Earth is good against fire. Okay, we'll move up. Oh, didn't want to do that. We'll flee. I couldn't flee. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll just kill him. He's level 4, no wonder. Jeez. Moloon didn't have a chance. Um, let's heal. Woohoo! Okay. Um, I think it'd be faster to go this way, actually. Well, probably the same. Either way, doesn't matter. Hello, I'm back. That's a dirt. That's a Turthama. That's an Earthama right there. Near party. Ready to take on my next challenge? All right, here's T-Rain's second lesson. You'll fight against a wind, Tama. Observe how strong your Earth attacks are against it. Dude, he's level four, man. Cool. There we go. Slow down. Well, at least I'm not like... terribly weak. No, I am. I take that back. Please, for love. Bye-bye. A skadoosh. What? He's 13 out of 13. Well, we did it. Maybe I haven't adjusted the difficulty properly. Here's your reward. Ooh, a thousand. I have another challenge for you. I'll make it properly hard this time. So I want you to catch one electama for me. Heard there are some lurking in the tunnel. See if you can find them. Um, I couldn't go in the tunnel. Gray mushroom. Hmm, a little better. I love that the items respawn. I was hoping that they would, and they do. Wait, what's this way? Hello? Oh, I didn't even see this up here. CPU chip. Increase speed by one. Neat. Alright, I'm just gonna check out the tunnel real quick. Why is that so lit up? I don't remember it being like that, but maybe because it's darker. Oh yeah, it's getting close to dusk, if not already. Alright, what's what are we doing here? You have collected enough for crew cards to lock this gate. Ah so that's how they're gonna stop. Protocol tunnel. Ooh, got a little wind guy there. Alright guys, we're actually gonna end the video here. Gonna make this a little bit two parts, maybe, or at least until I get through the demo. Seems like this has a healthy amount to show off. Uh, we'll see, though. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking so far. Like I said, I'll have all the details in the description of the video. Please check out this game. Let the developer know if it's something up your alley. I know I will. Uh, this game is great. I'm having a blast. Can't wait for this game to come out. 
someone finally doing a fan game on Digimon their own way. And it's about Digimon World 1. Couldn't be more perfect, but I'll leave it there as always. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I will see you.